Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading is not time specific because divine timing plays a part. Okay, so we're just going to see what's coming in. Uh, typically, these readings tend to play out within a week, up to a month, to the day, whatever. The timing is fluid for each and every one of us. We're not all the same person. So this is something that is coming in. Then again, this reading may not be for you. You know, when they fall out, i got to take them. Chariot reversed. The moon. Nine of cups reversed. And the four of cups reversed. So, somebody is in a situation where there's no success. There's no victory. There's no success. They're very dissatisfied. It's not all it was cracked up to be. It, it presented itself to be something that it is not. Now they're looking for something else. They see that there's another opportunity. They've been focused on this situation for quite some time, but now they're getting interested in something else because there's no success here. There's no victory here. There's too much opposition. You know, it really, really, really wasn't all that it was cracked up to be with these two cards. It looked really good on the surface, but below the surface, it, uh, you know, it's going, it's going nowhere because it's just not real. Below the surface is not what it looks like. Okay. So we have something that is coming to a halt. It's coming to a dead stop with that chariot reverse. It could be an emotional outburst that is coming. There could be an emotional outburst. Somebody may go overboard, right? They may, maybe they do, uh, they drink too much and they have an emotional outburst. So that could certainly be coming. Beware, be careful. All is not as it seems. Somebody may flip out. I just got to be honest with you with this because this is unable to master emotions you know, you can't master your emotions. There's also a lack of direction. Somebody has lost their direction. Perhaps there's some addictions. I don't know if it's alcohol or drugs or whatever it is, but somebody's addictions are getting the best of them. So maybe it's time to throw away that bottle or throw away whatever it is to get your life back on track. Uh, put things to a stop. You need to, you need to take back control. Somebody has lost all control. All right. And now it's time to stop. It's time to get back in the driver's seat and take control. Stop overindulging. We have somebody here that's going overboard. They're going overboard. They're trying to, they're going overboard. They've lost control. They've lost all self-control. And I feel as though, um, you know, self-control and discipline, you know, and, and there's addiction. So there's an addiction here that is getting in the way. And there are many forms of addictions, okay? Some people automatically, they hear the word addiction and they think drugs. Yeah, drugs is an addiction. Uh, food is an addiction. Porn is an addiction. Um, you know, if you do it, anything that you do repetitively that isn't good for you, that it's impacting your health in some way, in a negative way, is an addiction. Okay, so somebody here has let an addiction get the best of them. Okay, but now with that Four of Pentacles, it's like letting go, opening, or Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Uh, but I saw Four of Pentacles, I don't know why. It's letting go of this addiction, mastering your emotions. Somebody really needs to get themselves in check. Okay, it's time to check yourself. Um, there's a new opportunity here. Um, somebody's been moping. They may have been, uh, what do you call that? When you overindulge because of the situation that you're in. Um, self-medicating. Self-medicating. In, in whatever way it is. But now it's time to stop. It's time to focus on the future. Uh, stop uh, holding yourself back. You're sabotaging yourself. So we have somebody here that needs to take control. They need to take control of their emotions. They need to take control of this addiction that is not healthy. Okay, somebody is is letting an addiction get the best of them. It's time to focus on something else. Stop crying over whatever loss that you've had because that's what we have here. We have somebody that has been... Um, you know, can't socialize because the Three of Cups is about socializing. It's about partying. It's about having fun with friends, whatever. This is parting ways, okay? Yeah, you may have had to part ways. You may be feeling very alone. You're really unhappy. You're self-medicating. Stop. Stop. It's time to focus on the future. 
you know, stop crying over that, stop moping over that, stop focusing on what has happened, focus on a new opportunity, focus on uh, loving yourself, working on yourself. So I feel like it's the end of stagnation, right? It is. It's the end. It's the end of letting this addiction get the best of you. High Priestess reversed. Now the High Priestess reversed is somebody a secret that is being revealed. Somebody may have been hiding their addictions. Okay? They may have been hiding it. Somebody doesn't listen to any advice at all. This person, we have somebody here, doesn't listen. Refuses to listen. Um, thinks that they know it all, perhaps. Huh. Unaware of an addiction. Unaware that something wasn't or isn't as it seems. It's an illusion. The moon is an illusion. I think that there's some unseen problems that are about to surface. Okay? There's some unseen problems that are, are about to come about because of this addiction. If you don't take control. you got to take control of this addiction. Whatever it is, it is definitely some sort of addiction. Somebody is going to extremes has lost all their discipline, is totally unaware that there is something that is about to surface that isn't healthy. It's not. Oh my goodness. King of Wands reversed. Now the King of Wands reversed is somebody that is unreasonable, self-centered, self-righteous, definitely isn't going to listen. Um, cannot be told anything. This person cannot be told anything. This person definitely is a know-it-all. It doesn't matter what sign it is. It could be anybody. We have somebody here that is um, unreasonable. Definitely unreasonable. You can't reason with this person whatsoever. feels like this person is about to experience something that they, that there's something that is definitely going to be revealed here because this is, these are both something being revealed. Something has been below the surface. It's been bubbling. It's been bub bubbling. It's something, it's, it's, it could be a health issue. I got to be honest with you. It could be a health issue. It's been, and it's about to, um, show up. It's about to show up. Completely unaware that this is going to happen. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but does it have to be? Doesn't have to be. There's a higher power involved. This is a higher power. This is God or, you know, uh, this is the highest authority. There's a higher power involved that is going to reveal something. They're going to reveal something. Now, there's a lot of intuition here and a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, it's intuition, 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 intuition. So somebody has been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their gut. They've been, they've been not listening. They've been not listening to the higher plan. They've been not, not listening to God, not listening to the higher power, not listening to anybody, not listening to anybody. I'm fine. I'm good. But they're going to be stopped in their tracks. Somebody's going to be stopped in their tracks. Now, the Hierophant is a teacher or a mentor, or somebody that is very spiritual, or it could be God, or a higher power. This higher power is about to reveal something. There's no doubt about it. And it may have to do with this person up here. This person that is this person is egotistical, a know-it-all, unreasonable, self-centered, self-righteous, uh, 
can't tell them anything. This guy, this, this, this higher power knows, absolutely sees all. Yes, this, this person or God or whoever it is sees all. Something is about to be revealed that has been below the surface. Somebody has been unaware of some sort of deception as well. This is unaware, deception, lie. Somebody could be dealing with a liar, okay? Somebody may be dealing with a liar. There's been some sort of deception, and it gets revealed. Somebody's been lying about something. Now that think people are grounded, you know, they're grounded, they're, they have to stay home, something is becoming revealed, it's becoming unhidden, it can't be hidden anymore. It's, it's like the truth is coming out because you can't hide it, there's, there's too much um, closeness, you know what I mean? Unexpected choice in love. There's a, there's a lover. There, there there's another there's another consequences here. If somebody has been cheating or they have been doing something with another person, it is definitely going to be revealed. Even if they've been texting or talking to another person, it's going to be revealed. This is a choice between two lovers. Unexpectedly, it's like. The two people have been brought together unexpectedly, or two people are coming together unexpectedly. Now, this is this is a commitment, and this is a commitment too. I feel like there is a commitment here. There's a there's a commitment that is coming about. You may be unaware. You may be unaware that. Whatever is happening is happening for a reason. Perhaps there's, a, there's somebody that is better suited for you. This is not who you asked for. Okay, when, when the lover's card comes up, it's like you come together with somebody that it's not who you asked for. Okay, it's not what you were expecting. Okay, this is not what you were expecting. But it's it's somebody that we have two people coming together or that have come together that are in perfect alignment, right? They're, they're, they're um, kindred spirits. They're being brought together by a higher power. They are. They're meant to be together, but there is something that is hidden below the surface that hasn't been revealed about this connection. Because this is a connection. And it has been hidden. It has been hidden. It definitely has. So we have a connection that has been hidden, it hasn't been shown yet, but here it comes. So this can go multiple different ways, this reading, but this is an unexpected choice in love that has come up. Okay, it's come up. It's about to be revealed. Somebody may get really pissed off. Okay, you get the King of Wands in reverse, this is somebody who gets pissed off. Very upset. But there is a higher power that is bringing two people together. These people are kindred spirits, right? They are. Everything happens for a reason. I feel as though we have one situation where somebody is very dissatisfied. They've been focusing on an emotionally unfulfilling situation for a while. But now they're ready. They're ready for something else. They are. This is being ready. The end of stagnation. Here comes your, you know, here's, this, is, this is a perfect match, okay? So, hmm. something is definitely about to pop up. This is quite a surprise. It is a surprise. It is a, it's definitely a surprise. Interesting. But that first card, the chariot, is something coming to a halt. First. First. It's the first card. First, something is coming to a halt. Okay. 
And there's, you know, I think emotions are going to be, or they are, all over the place. I think we have a, a new connection that is about to surface. I don't know if it's surfaced yet because this is not who you thought it was. We have two people coming together unexpectedly. It's quite a surprise. It happens under weird circumstances as well. It is definitely very weird, uh, unknown circumstances. It's like you couldn't predict it. Unpredictable. Unpredictable circumstances. Interesting. Oh my God. We definitely have two people that are coming together. This is so, these are soulmates. Okay. These are definitely soulmates. This is a soulmate connection. It's, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect union. But before it happens, something is coming to a stop. It is. Somebody is, it's like they, all of us, it's, it's very sudden as well. It is very sudden. It's unexpected. There's an unexpected, uh, union here with two people that are very compatible for each other. I, I feel like it happens definitely all of a sudden. This, it's like this higher power brings these P two people together. Um, It's definitely not who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. That's the funny part. It is the funny part. But it's somebody that is definitely going to spark your interest. You, It's like you've been focused on something that is emotionally unfulfilling. With that four of cups reversed. Discontent. Unhappy. Having a hard time parting ways. You know, having a hard time moving on. Stuck. Stuck in a situation that was dissatisfying. And all of a sudden they bring this... Uh, person, you know, right in front of you that sparks your interest and it's like, oh my God, where did this, where did you come from? And it helps you because this is a heal. This is a healing opportunity. It's an opportunity to heal. This person will help you to heal. It's like there's an instant attraction with this person. So something is about to pop up. That you did not see coming. This is somebody that is you will feel in alignment with. You will feel like it's absolutely... Uh, I feel like I want to say magical. And I don't, I don't think I've used that word very much. Um, this is a, this is, could lead to commitment. Could lead to marriage. Somebody may even be getting proposed to if that's, that's for you. This is a perfect match, okay? This is a perfect match that has happened suddenly. It's happened out of the blue. It is absolutely meant to be. You didn't see it coming. You didn't expect it. We have two people coming together that are meant to be together. Could be a, you know, it doesn't matter what sign, but we have, we have doesn't mean, I'm not even going to say it, but um, because it doesn't matter. We, we definitely have an unexpected choice in love. That is about to happen. And I think that there's, you know, the lovers is a card of consequences. There's consequences. You can choose to keep focusing on the one that doesn't love you or the one that you don't love. Or you can choose to go after the one that you feel the deep connection with. So this is a card of choice. Somebody has to make a choice between two. And that's why there's a stop. You have to stop focusing on one so that you can focus on the other. And it happens so fast and it happens so suddenly that... You know, you can't hide it. You can't, you can't hide your feelings. You can't, it can't be hidden. It's intense. So I feel like we have an intense connection that is about to uh, pop up out of nowhere for somebody. Good luck.